right, buddy. We know how to pull a crowd. Right? Yes. These are all of our friendlies. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. So hi, guys. Those of you we know all probably too well and maybe spent too much time in the bar with last night. Um, <laughs> wanted to <No>. take a... <laughs> you're guilty. We really just wanted to kind of sit down and chat and kind of tell you our vision of Hedna, um, where we're going to go. So I thought we'd start with Chris kind of telling him a little bit about himself and his journey to Hedna in general. And then you need to do the same once I'm done. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> Spotlight on so, you. So um, I think... and. You know, last, uh, when we were in Seattle, I got thinking about this too, but my first Hedna was, um, I had been in the distribution with uh, Fairmont at the time for a couple of years, and then I, my first Hedna was a European Hedna in Madrid, not the last time, but the mm -hmm. time previous. So what, 13, 14 years ago? Uh, time like goes in a weird. And it's it's one of those um, moments, those, those times I'll never forget because I, first time attendee, get to the conference, and I was literally pushed into, not pushed, but I was, <laughs> what's the right word? I was- Encouraged? Encouraged to, uh, <laughs> I needed, I was right into a um, leisure wholesale mm. um, working session yeah. to facilitate it, and I literally was like, And facilitate? Oh yeah, as a co-facilitator, so I'm, <laughs> You know, that's how they get you. So that, that's how you, when you get, <laughs> that's how you learn. I guess you just start trying to teach it, and it was bizarre. But um, you know, but that was the beginning of uh, you know the the relationships and the knowledge sharing, and really that took. Um, and you know, I hear it all the time, but that took where I was in distribution at that point, and literally took it to the next level from there on. Career-wise, education-wise. Networking, yeah. all of it. Yeah, I mean, it the networking um, right out of the gate was it's invaluable because it, you know it's not only yeah you get to learn all the information, um, but then you have the point you have the contacts that if you want to ask a question if you need to further a conversation, um, these are the like-minded these this is um, where the expertise exists. The, the fellow nerds. Yeah. 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 And so. And where yeah. are you based? I'm based in uh, Canada on the East Coast. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a tough question. No, I, because I, I was thinking about this earlier because it, I'd never r really hear about my Canadian accent when I'm in Europe. Oh, you but got when one, I'm bud. In the States, you got one, bud. <laughs> I hear, but so do you all have it? We'll see. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do too now. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I, yeah, I, I uh, my home office is Toronto, um, but I live even further on the East Coast, uh, which um, in the winter can be dismal, but this time of year it's fantastic. Okay, and if you, what are your top three activities? What are you <laughs> golf? <laughs> golf, golf, and golf. Okay, no, golf, I like, golf, and golf. Golf, golf. you know, music, I, I've told, of, you know, it's, it's come up, um, I was in Boston last weekend uh, for the Boston Calling Music Festival, so I'm a yeah, huge um, love music. So I went down to see the Foo Fighters, yeah. Dropkick Murphys. It was fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'll give you a quick kind of bio, I guess. Um, I'm based in San Diego, California, thus the Tupac this morning because West Coast knows how to party. Um, I've had the pleasure of attending my first Hedna, gosh, it was probably about 15 or so years ago. It was in Miami. I just remember a bunch of really geeky fellow-like nerds. And I was like, other people understand and want to talk about distribution? Right. And it was the only place where it really was happening. And there was, um, there was a tiki uh, bar outside of the hotel that we were at and the people were raging, and I was like, these are my people. So it was the first group that I was like, you party, you play, you talk, you work, I love it. And um, I was not pushed, which the way you described is definitely a push. Yeah, that was, yes. <laughs> that was not a suggestion. No. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you're, you're you may all know this. Doug, you, oh, Doug, Doug Kerr, oh, yeah. was, uh, he was, um, I was under his scope at the time, and I mean, it was just the experience he, uh, different things he taught me, but that was 
Yeah, saying that it was Doug Carr makes yes. all the sense now. Um, so um, yeah, I, I, that was my first headnet that I literally walked in, in and out of going, I absolutely feel understood. And it was so incredible. And you know, I think part of what, um, and just kind of a quick you know, bio background on, on the workforce, I, I started at Travelscape, which was the, um, for anybody who's on the hotel side or um, a tour side and works with Expedia, that's the, the company that you contract under. So um, I was just a young, eager, obnoxious 20-year-old asking hotels for 50% discounts. Um, and then had the opportunity after that to go on property, and that changed everything about the trajectory of my career. Being on property and understanding the absolute stress and um, need that has to happen for the entire staff uh -huh. to really work together from front desk to back and everything. And um, from then went, went back to Expedia, spent some time at Orbitz before any of the acquisition. Um, was it Travel Click before Amadeus? It was a lot of acquisition in our industry. Um, also was at, um, went back to Travel Click when it was Easy Yield, lots of things back and forth. Um, and then with two switch companies between Disco and Shiji. So um, I, I always come at this and what? No, go ahead. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure we covered off your, what you like to do. Oh, no, uh, see, no, no, now no, we're going yeah. back to you. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, dogs, beach, uh, uh, I don't know what else I, I'm kind of boring. I don't that's think not so, true. Natalie. I don't think that's, I don't think that's the right answer. I think you're um, hiding something. Yeah, no, I don't have any, um, I, I love to hike. Uh, I love to give back an underwater basket wave. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I think that, you know, part of what Chris, uh, working with Chris is just absolutely invaluable. We, we as an organization, and the reason I mentioned what I did about the hotel especially is that Having a leader who is a hotelier, we really want to make sure that we are considering everything for the hotel community first. Um, you know, the way that Chris and I have approached this, um, you know, we've been working together for many, many years, but never in this capacity. And right. we've had a whopping four months together, and it's been amazing. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to make him say it's been amazing, right? It has been fantastic. There we actually, go. Yes. Thanks, bud. Appreciate no, it is. You. I mean, there, you know, there's. Things we've talked about, um, about, did you hear that? I, oh, yeah. I heard it. <laughs> um, there, there are things we've discussed and talked about as a board and, you know, some of them you, you, you're starting to see some of them come out now. Uh, one of the main things is with initiatives. And the other thing uh, we've talked about a lot and we're going to progress even further with again is uh, heading to you. There's so much opportunity um, if it's, it, it's hard to, I mean, we have so many different areas that we can go with it and we're gonna narrow those down, but we are um, looking at collaboration with the other associations. Like I said, those are active conversations on the go. Uh, we are looking at how do we make the content that we have in the Head the University Library available for uh, consumption by, you know, independent hotels, uh, regional, uh, setting and online, there's um, so much um, that's available to us. We have the content, we have the expertise. It's now uh, just putting it into an action plan and getting getting it out there. Yeah, and I feel like honestly, for all the I I started working with Chris directly on Head U probably four or yeah. five years ago. Um, I'm going to pause real quick. Can you give us our timer on the screen? Oh yeah, I'm, we just Don't can't need to talk stare at our faces. So, you know, part of, part of what we know we want to really lean into is a couple things, um, and, and it really is about making sure that the education, we know that we're unique. Um, when we do head to you and we see the light bulb go off, it is a really cool experience. So Chris is so incredibly dedicated to that. Um, he immediately put his hand up. When I mentioned this morning about committees, he was like, I'm doing head to you. I want to drive this forward. And it's the same reason I took future leaders. Mm -hmm. Because I, 15 years ago when I first joined this and came to my first head and I was like, I want to be a part of that. I want to help build and cultivate whatever the future of that looks like. So to have the combination of two people who are super passionate about education and the future of the association overall. We still don't have timer on the left screen. Okay, thanks. Um, and uh, <laughs> told you. And we, by the way, this is what this Natalie is, is perfect at for this conference. So, what do I do? Tell people what to do? You, yes, I'm great at it yeah, in my normal yeah, life too. No, it's perfect. <laughs> 
Um, but you know, we're really excited about taking this association further. And um, part of what, you know, I mentioned it again this morning, but if you weren't in here, please give us feedback. We, we yeah. want to make sure that this community continues to thrive. And actually, Heather, who's coming up next, made an incredible point just in the back now. She said that, you know, people can access the stage content anytime. Like, mm -hmm. I can go on Google and find out what's happening in AI without having to come to a conference. So part of what we need from our community is how do we make the content relevant for you to be here while we all do the thing we love, which is network. So this is where the decision makers are. This is where it's happening. But how do we embrace what's happening in our community within distribution? And how do we become a leader yes. and get back to being able to actually encourage and in influence what's going on? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I. I you had mentioned um, future leaders, and one of the things um, that had come up when I when I sat in on that um, on your your uh, meeting yesterday, the mentor mentee oh. program, I think, is um, and by the sounds of it, it, it's going fantastic. I mean that that it's initiative so cool. is great. So good job, Lisa and Dottie. Good job, Lisa and Dottie. So much work. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, just even some of the testimonials I heard, uh, you know, the, your experience with it and others. Um, so I encourage anyone that is, um, you know, interested in getting involved uh, with a, the mentor uh, program with future leaders, then absolutely. Um, and, and I think great. I want to mention too, like, future leaders is not. There's no qualification. We're not going to like put you through right. a background check. We probably should. <laughs> who knows where y'all been? Uh, but you know, we really just want to be able to share. And it's funny because um, Donnie and I were, we were actually it was during our last future leader calls, and he was like, "Yeah, I went, partnered with a hotel, and we were talking about, you know, what's it like on property." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, me and my mentee were going like deep and personal." So it's really cool because you have this different relationship, and it really helps you to understand what's going on in the industry, uh -huh. how to navigate personal relationships within companies, and. It's just awesome, but I think that that right there is a pure example of, of Chris really encouraging us to kind of go, you know, what new ideas do you have? It's also a huge thanks to SMG that actually Absolutely. could get this kicked out because yep. we've had a lot of ideas, but now we work with an association that can actually execute. Sorry, not actually, I shouldn't. I'm not PC, <laughs> the, the, guys, I, I know. Fun. We get it, it's the second day. <sighs> I know, we can say it now? Almost. Okay, we, SMG's amazing. I'll leave it at yeah, that. they've been fantastic, and um, I mean, considering deliverables, I, I need to keep. I always want to come back to um, the initiatives. You know, being able as a board to sit, identify um, three initiatives, yep, rather than you know conversation. And I know over the past few years through COVID, things um, they just you know they get murky. There's a blip in the in the timeline that you, you it just kind of doesn't exist so it's bringing it all back together understanding it and as the board that we have um, they absolutely do get it and we understand exactly. that it's time to um, give back to membership fund you know get some deliverables on the go and it doesn't no matter what that is. It, yeah, and I think to Chris's point too, for everybody here, for when it comes to the initiatives, we're kind of looking at it as a short and a long term. Yeah. So sustainability is going to be a long term one that we work on probably for the next six months, where we kind of put some ideas together. Put it's more than just a white paper, you guys. Like we're actually wanting to help and affect change for um, what's happening in OTA or XML uh, or HTML. Wait, no, HSA. What? It's thank you. It's been a long. It's been it's been a minute. <laughs> There's a lot of abbreviations in this industry, which is another thing we need to bring back is the abbreviation thing. Yes, and right? We will. Yes, that's what I'm yes. saying. Uh, but again, those are things that I think we knew coming in 10 years ago that we've stopped. What we're talking about is basically like what does GDS stand for? What is C CRS, PMS, just an abbreviation dictionary. Um, but, but the initiatives will allow us to really deliver in the community. So what I'm going to encourage all of you to do in your you know, free time Think about what initiatives are important to you. What are you guys hearing in the industry? You know, we've heard from Legal Lens, we've heard from AI. Like, what are the things that are coming up that you're like, 
-hmm. I don't know how to solve this. Then what we do is once it gets submitted and approved by the board, then it gets assigned with across the disciplines. So in an, in a, an example like AI, that would touch payments. It does touch connectivity. It does touch content. So yeah. that's what I think Chris's leadership has really helped us to do is kind of flip that around. Um, and Audrey and April will key in, in really putting 100%. this format together. But again, I still have to say without SMG, I don't think we've been able to execute no. a whole lot. Because no, you guys are awesome. Done well. So Chris is done. He hates being on stage. So uh, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just No, I'm not that bad with it. Okay, if so I can he, sit he's down not that and bad. just <laughs> chill, then I'm, it's all good. <laughs> Next time we'll get you a, a, like right. a lounge all chair. That's all I need. <laughs> coach. All right, guys. Thanks for being here. Please give us feedback. We appreciate all of you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here.